Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Everton have been linked with Leon Winger, Ernest Newarmer. He is 20-year-old, left-footed, right winger who scored three goals last season in 20 nine games this follows on from everton also being linked with a move for leon uh, midfielder uh, ola mangala uh, 26 years of age obviously he's played in the premier league before for nottingham forest uh, holding midfielder uh, that would be a loan um, with the prospect of a move next year uh, there is obviously a link between leon and everton certainly after uh, Jake O'Brien obviously signed for them as well and, and that link would obviously be John Texter who is obviously trying to buy Everton Football Club and recently put the whole Leon squad uh, or made the Leon squad available to be bought so um, that obviously may help with these deals if they were to go through we'll have to wait and see obviously the, the transfer deadline day is on Friday and the window shuts at 11 o'clock so it'll be uh, interesting to see whether Everton can get those deals over the line or certainly one of those deals over the line uh everton certainly need a little bit of new blood in the squad having lost their first two premier league games this season but everton last night beat doncaster rovers to enter the draw for the third round of the carabao cup uh sean dyche held this post-match press conference here is what he had to say on Neil Mopai's future, who was not available or certainly wasn't available on the bench last night. And here's what Sean Dyche had to say about that. Possibly we're waiting. Um, it was just a, a risk and reward scenario. There's possibly something going to happen, but we're waiting on that. But it was just what M where we thought well, common sense prevails. Sean Dyche also commented on the situation which occurred at Euston train station on Saturday night after the defeat at Tottenham. Uh, let's hear what he had to say about that. I don't I don't think I need to mention anything other than the fans have mentioned. So the fans, it seems to me, from what I gather and I've kept my eye on it, have rallied round and said they feel it's unacceptable. So there's enough fans in this stadium and there's enough fans across the world and across England for Everton. And if they say it's unacceptable, then they know more about it than me. So I'm happy with the fact that they've gone, no, there's a certain line. We think some people have crossed it. It is only some don't forget. You know, that's frustration can lead to all sorts of situations. So... But the, the, the masses of fans who, who seem to have got involved in that moment have actually said, no, that's too far. So they've dealt with it. It doesn't need me to deal with it. And finally, Everton sponsor Christopher Ward is now a founding partner of Everton Stadium. They will become recognised within the stadium as a presenting partner of Doc on One. This will include a immersive Christopher Ward watch showroom, the first of its kind to be integrated into any football stadium worldwide so obviously they are they the sleeve sponsor this year and i think they are a uh, sponsor on the everton women's kit as well and um they will follow on from castor and amarach as uh founding partners of the everton stadium so i'm sure there'll be more names to come as well on that list but it, it obviously helps everton and helps everton's coffers with uh, these brands coming on and um, being part part of Everton's new stadium. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what that all involves when Everton's stadium is open this time next year. Very, very exciting. There you go. This has been the Everton News Daily. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description. The QR code's coming up on the screen now. See you later.